Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to another second stimulus check and second stimulus package unemployment benefits extension update. Uh, welcome back or welcome if you guys are brand new here, consider subscribing to join in. So we do have brand new updates and in today's update, I do want to take a revisit and talk once again about the $2,000 stimulus check, about the current status of that. Now, because today actually is, as some of you guys may or may not know, is, is actually a very, very big, particularly huge, huge day where history is going to potentially get made but I do know that even regardless of the outcome of what happens by the end of today a lot of the stuff that we're going to be talking about is probably still going to be relevant over the next couple of days because we're going to basically be talking about where we currently stand in the $2,000 stimulus check negotiations and we're also going to be talking about the Georgia Senate elections because that is today and this is going to be a massive make break kind of decision or day that's going to determine the faith of however thousands of dollars that maybe will come into our bank accounts over the next couple of days because this Georgia Senate election is going to have a huge massive impact to both the two thousand dollar stimulus check that we're going to be talking about but even the third stimulus check that many people are already starting to kind of semi bring up the topic um, that we're really going to cover and likely have a lot of news potentially come out depending on the faith of this election. So we're going to get started right away, but before we begin, make sure you smash the like button in light of all of the stimulus that has thankfully already been approved so far and a lot of the great news that have recently been rolling out. Um, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for future updates on unemployment or feel free to consider check out other videos if you guys haven't done so where I talk about unemployment and stimulus checks um, on my channel and I'll put some at the end screen as well. And also feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about really honestly just any anything at all, even if it's like whether or not you guys have already received your $600 stimulus checks or the unemployment and maybe what state or bank that you guys currently bank with or are from because that does have a massive impact to how long it physically takes to even get your $600 stimulus check before we move on and talk about the $2,000 stimulus check which is what we're going to talk about in a bit. So with that being said, let's get this video started. So the current story with the $2,000 stimulus check is that it still is very, very, very much on the table and still very, very much being fought on right now. At this time period, even more people have actually joined in to support the $2,000 stimulus checks. And we're talking about on both sides, the Republicans and the Democrats. The only person to this day that still is really, really against it is really just Mitch McConnell and then just very select people right now. But at this current time, we now have a ton of different leaders and figures and people that are now in support of it. Trump, Pelosi, Schumer, um, almost all of the Democrats, Bernie, even many of the Republicans now, Lindsey Graham, Josh Hawley, and actually, interestingly, even all four of the candidates in the Georgia Senate runoff elections right now, all of them are actually in support of the $2,000 stimulus check. The only current story right now is that we haven't actually even been able to get that $2,000 even to get voted on inside of the Senate. I believe that the general idea about where we stand right now is that Lindsey Graham, who is one of the Republicans and even Donald Trump has actually finally officially managed to sway even more Republicans including some of the new Republicans that actually just came in because another brand new update is that actually this recent week we recently just got in a brand new set of Congress members which basically means that there is now basically a whole brand new so I know how like in the last like couple of months everyone was talking about voting them out and trying to get new people the great news is that now we actually do have obviously some people are still there like Pelosi is still there, McConnell is still there, Schumer is still there but we do have some new people now that are actually inside of Congress right now both on the, the House and the Senate and the Republicans and the Democrats. So the story right now is that it's still very very much on the table. It actually hasn't even been voted on right now and the current story is that Mitch McConnell is trying to block it from being put on the floor. Now I have mentioned this before but I think it's really important to really specify is that when a bill is blocked it doesn't mean that the bill ends because I know that from past videos is that there are so many people that are going to be talking about a certain 
certain bill, and then the second they receive something on the news about how a bill has been blocked, then they're basically going to close the tab, walk away, and then assume that that means it's the end of the bill. When a bill is blocked, it actually doesn't mean that the bill ends. It just means that they're not interested in at this time. Otherwise, I think it's fair to say is, is that there probably would be no reason for Bernie, Trump, Hawley, and uh, Lindsey Graham, and a whole bunch of people to be trying to press for the $2,000 stimulus checks if that really was what it meant. The story right now is, is that it just means that right now Mitch McConnell has blocked it with all it really means is that he's just not interested in even putting it up for a vote. I think the speculation though is, is that there are actually even many Republicans that are actually in support of it right now. The thought that many people believe is that if they try to bring this $2,000 bill onto the floor to get a vote, it may even pass even tomorrow, potentially, literally just the second that they may, maybe, and there's no guarantees, but there's a really reasonable chance to think because there's a hundred people inside of the Senate, or there will be after the Georgia Senate elections. If every single Democrat voted in favor of the 2000, which is basically what it's looking like right now, and then if a reasonable amount of the Republicans do, which many Republicans have already said yes to it, this bill can basically, there's basically enough votes to finally get it to happen. It's just the problem is, is that Mitch McConnell doesn't even want to put it on the floor to even get voted on in general. And he's really the person that really has the final say. And it's crazy because, again, keep in mind is that people in Kentucky, and again, I'm just speaking about what has happened, if maybe if you know someone from Kentucky, and I actually do have a couple friends from Kentucky, but they actually, they did not vote for Mitch McConnell. But it's just at the end of the day, you know, there's a population of people in Kentucky that voted for Mitch McConnell, and he is now the person that's the reason we have $2,000 or we don't have an extra $2,000 inside of our bank accounts or $1,400 because that's... But the story right now is, is that that's why the Georgia Senate elections are so, so incredibly important because the faith of who wins in this election is going to determine Mitch McConnell's power. And sometimes I... I I hate to say it in a little bit of a way, but the thing is, is that actually the reality is this, is because I know some people love Trump, some people don't like Trump, some people love the Democrats, some love Biden, but the reality right now is hopefully, if we've maybe had conflict during the presidential elections, we can maybe at least feel relatively more united right now to know that all of us are on the same exact side. Trump supporters, Biden supporters, Republicans, Democrats, I think almost everyone, even all four of the Georgia Senate and election candidates all really want to push for the $2,000 stimulus checks. We just don't know if Mitch McConnell will even let it get voted on. And that's why actually in a lot of ways, the Georgia Senate elections, and this is one of the areas that I, I kind of feel bad a little bit for saying this, but actually the reality is, is that even though the two Republican candidates are in favor of the $2,000 stimulus checks, if this Senate does not flip, even if those new Republicans that come in, if they, you know, come inside of the Senate, decide to support the $2,000 stimulus checks, without flipping the Senate, Mitch McConnell will still have the power. And by that logic, almost nothing is going to be able to get done at this current point. If if the Senate still stays the same exact way as it is. Now, Mitch McConnell did recently semi kind of respond, but I think even to right now, he's still trying to hold firm to it. In fact, he actually did even briefly respond it because as most of you guys probably know is, is that his house was actually recently just vandalized over the weekend. Pelosi's house was also, but I think actually a lot of people think that Mitch McConnell's house being vandalized was probably a lot more justifiable and he actually did respond to it. Um, in his words, after he basically had his home vandalized, I think that he responded, and this is, I'm pretty sure this is in his words according to news articles, Vandalism and the politics of fear have no place in our society. My wife and I have never been intimidated by this toxic playbook. We just hope our neighbors in Louisville aren't too inconvenienced by this radical tantrum. Um, the bottom line is, is that he still doesn't care. And I think the reality is, is, is that he probably, this is one of his homes of probably many homes. I'm personally surprised this didn't happen earlier, but his home has officially been vandalized. 
However, he probably has many homes. There are many people that come and maybe the only thing we have to do is, is that we have to actually just get his body because at the end of the day, the joke is, is that he can always buy a new home and especially because he already has many homes, but he only has one body. But at this current time is, is that even after all of this pressing, that's where we currently stand with the $2,000 stimulus check negotiations. So right now, in terms of where we go from here, is we're really just all waiting for the Georgia Senate elections to see what happens. I believe at this current time, the Democrats are actually taking a slight lead, but it's by like a percent. So at this current point in time, it actually can go either way. It's leaning a little bit that it maybe will flip, but, but I just don't want to say it yet because at this time, it's so close by like literally a percent of a margin together that it really can swing in either directions at this time we're really just gonna have to wait till maybe the end of today or the end of the next couple of days because as we know this is a you know this these last couple of elections there's been so many I'm gonna sue you fraud cases contesting kind of moments and I wouldn't be shocked if something like that came up again but at this current time period, I think that until we get the results of the Senate elections, it's going to be having a massive impact to what ends up happening with the $2,000 checks. But I always do preach is that if you are in Georgia or if you know someone who's in Georgia to make sure you come out to vote, I can't tell you who to vote for, but I can kind of just give you the general idea about how who you vote for is going to impact the sake of how many people are going to have a meal to eat a month from now. And I'm just really speaking about it like from, a, from just as objectively as I possibly can. Because at this time period, it's not even being able to get voted on because Mitch McConnell is holding on to it. And I think in a way, maybe it's probably possibly because he knows that maybe if they actually do force him to vote on it, he knows that he's going to potentially lose. And I think that because we've just sadly, you know, the, the country has given him so much power, he's just holding firm to it right now. But that's really where we currently stand. That's what I really wanted to share with you guys. Feel free to comment any questions, thoughts about really anything, especially about the Mitch McConnell situation, about what you guys think about it. Do you think it's going to pull through? Or really, honestly, just really anything at all. So with that being said, hopefully you guys found some insight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification button if you guys are interested in future updates. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.